Hey guys, this is Joke Saint, and this is my latest grocery haul, or in this case, my trash haul. <laughs> These are the remnants of my taste test of the OBI Victory Bars. Uh, actually, they kind of grew on me. Uh, I had two dozen bars, and they were they were okay. They weren't as good as Quest Bars. But I had two dozen of them, so I slowly ate them over the course of two weeks, and uh, they kind of grew on me. I kind of got to where I wanted to have one each evening, especially the cookies and cream. The uh, oatmeal raisin was a, still had a little bit of a, a bitter <laughs> flavor to it, but the uh, the cookies and cream, the flavor of the cookies and cream really masks most of the uh, bitterness. So I grew accustomed to it and really didn't even notice it. Even I mean, I might even actually have looked forward to it a little bit as part of the taste. So let's move over to my real grocery haul. What I picked up this evening and as you can see I'm loaded for bear with my crystal light. Uh, I got one oddball guy here, one odd man out. Uh, I went to my local Walmart and they didn't have crystal light lemonade. They were sold out and so I bought this one just in case. This is like my, my emergency backup. I'll, I can drink this if I have to, but I, I prefer Crystal Light. So I picked up a little bit of sausage. This is going to be a... Oh, this will actually this will wind up being like three meals, something like that, for 12 ounces of sausage. I know it's full of fat, but it's one of my small treats. Uh, picked up a few bananas. I, I think I'm. I was hoping that if I started, if I eat a banana every once in a while, it will. It might boost my energy a bit after the runs. Get some after the runs after my jogging on the C to five C to five K program in the evenings. Maybe I need potassium. I'm not sure because I don't eat a whole lot of food outside of meat. Uh, I was talking to a friend today at work, and he is an ex bodybuilder slash personal trainer. And he was saying that, you know, when he was in his prime, he was down to less than 8% body fat, 8, 10% range most of the time, all year long. And he said the secrets to the bodybuilders and their physiques was, was their diet. It was, working out was only a small portion of it. And he said one of their secrets to weight loss was grapefruits. So I, I I don't I can drink grapefruit juice. I don't really like it too much. It's too bitter, but I haven't drank it in over two years. So I figured I'd give it another shot. My tastes have changed. So uh, I bought some Ocean Spray white grapefruit juice. I don't really like buying the bottled juice like this if it says it's from concentrate. And what the Ocean Spray is from concentrate. So I'm still looking for canned juice that is 100% juice and not from concentrate. Because from what I've read and listened to in audiobooks, when they concentrate the juice, they process it and they strip out a lot of the uh, nutrients and, and the things that are good for you. So you wind up with basically a uh, what they can call a natural fruit juice, but it's really just sugar. So I'm, I'm, I guess I'll find out. Uh, stocked up on toothbrushes and deodorant. Take a deodorant. Yep, deodorant. And Skintimate shaving cream. And you may say, why are you shopping and buying uh, women's shaving cream? And that's the reason is real simple. Uh, that's what, uh, it's cheaper at Sam's Club. They give you more for the same money at Sam's Club for buying this versus Edge or another men's brand. And I, my logic is, who's more concerned about soft skin, women or men? Women, of course, and their legs. So figure what it could only be better for me to use a women's shaving cream on my face for a softer, smoother skin. And another thing I picked up was a big bottle of magnesium. I had written, been recent, reading over the past couple weeks how most Americans are deficient in magnesium. And I'm not sure exactly how much to take. I'll have to uh, look, up, look that up again. I mean, two, 250 milligrams a day might not be enough. I'll find out. I'll test it out on myself and see how I feel. But I'm going to start adding a little bit of magnesium to my diet to see if that makes me feel any better and relieves all my feelings of exhaustion and tiredness all the time. 
uh, in the mail, I got my Quest order. I ordered another variety pack from Quest off Amazon. I wanted another 12 bars for some reason. I don't know why. I shouldn't have ordered them because I know I'll wind up overeating on them probably. And it freaked me out when I opened the box up because it says Quest Lemon. And lemon was one of my least favorite flavors. And it's like, oh man, i got to send this thing back or get used to eating lemon. But I opened it up just on the off chance. And sure enough, it was a, a box that they had repacked. So, yeah, I got my variety pack. I felt much, much relief. Uh, I've already eaten the peanut butter and jelly one. And it was just as good as I remember last time. They may even be better after getting used to those uh, Oh Yeah bars. So Quest might even taste better, especially my favorite. the uh... Oh, yes. Mixed Berry Bliss. And it really is Mixed Berry Bliss. It is, I mean, if you like... I'm a berry person. I'm not a chocolate person when it comes to protein bars. So, yeah. Yep, 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 yep. So, you might be wondering why I have a towel under all my food and some groceries. <laughs> That's because I set plates and stuff to dry on top of my, this is my freezer. And I put the towel down so that the middle pots don't scratch the paint off of the, uh, off the freezer lid. And sometimes I lay big pieces of, meat out here to defrost on the towel so I don't want the lid to rust. Yeah, so I'm <laughs> I've got enough crystal light to last me at least at least one day. I mean I'm loaded for bear here. I'm off restock my backpack and my lunchbox. Yeah. Plenty of crystal light. I feel much better. I get I get nervous when my crystal light levels get low in my, my stocks of crystal light get low. So that's it for my latest grocery haul. Hope y'all enjoyed it. This is Joe Saint signing out from VSG land. Keep pimping that sleeve.